Happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends that are abroad and in Abaco. We had the uh, customs slash police barracks. And I wonder what was the hurry to get this dock up and running. It shows you that the government has gone wrong. That the government has hastily spent all this money and doing this dock here. And the customs are still without a bathroom. Which is more important five years later? This dock? It's an expensive dock. If the government of the Bahamas could pocket up money and build this dock within a week, how is it? that in five years they haven't put one pole, one pillar, at no kind of structure to the custom dock or building in Marshawa. The customs are still in a trailer without a bathroom, but this has been quickly put up here for what they call a marine base operation, the police. I wonder who's making the decision in this country. It is hard breaking when I go across there at the custom building. The government has pushed the customs on one side of the building and the police is supposed to occupy the other building, the same building on one side. And the man that just was arrested, the defense force specialist, I see him. He was in Abaco uh, less than a week before he was locked up. He was here for three days training corrupt cops how to be corrupt cops. This dock is not for no marine base. This dock was designed for the police and the defense force to smuggle drugs and guns in and out of the Bahamas. At this, look at the money that was put in this. This same because they care about the, the Bahamas. This is on the front of Marshaba. One straight shot out of there to America carrying their cocaine load and bringing guns into the country. Anybody, I gotta talk to the Sawyers because I don't think the Sawyers want to get caught up and I don't see how they could allow Toya family could allow the police they must have been paying attention the police in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas is the most corrupt government agency for decades and to allow them to set up shop their cocaine gun smuggling empire on the front street of Marshaba. You gotta move away from that contract. And the man that was just here training crooked defense force and police officers how to be more crooked. He was here in Abaco less than a week before the Americans snatched him up in Florida. And he was the architect how come the commissioner of police don't know? How can the minister don't know? Wayne Monroe don't know. How come they haven't put anything for customs? Because custom is not directly involved in the cocaine smuggling and gun operation in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. It's the Defense Force and the Royal Bahamas Police Force and they already built a brand new dock to help make it easier for them to transfer cocaine or the Front Street Marshaba into Florida. Right here live on Thanksgiving Day. Thank God that the Americans got that Defense Force fella, but he already trained them how to transfer cocaine from the Arawak Agency dock or the Cherokee Air 
uh, um, custom broker's dock right here. Everything is already ready. Only thing the main mine got locked up, but they are ready to transfer cocaine and marijuana right from this dock. Anybody that's renting any building for, to the police, you are co-conspirator because you ought to know that the police is one of the most corrupt government agency in the country and they ought not be on Front Street Marshall. But this one, these Kai here early Thanksgiving morning, an American holiday, letting the Bahamians know that you ought not give thanks to and for the Royal Bahamas Police Force and Defense Force in Abaco, nor Nassau. They're just corrupt. Look at this dock. Customs still. Abaco is still in a trailer, but they could pocket up all this money, brand new dock to transfer drugs and gun out of Abaco, Front Street, Marsh Harbor. They were down there during the, uh, uh, after Hurricane Dorian doing the same thing, but now they got their own gate, their own dock, and they're untouchable. Only person could stop them right now if the Sawyers, if they cancel that lease to keep them corrupt cops out of the front street of Marsh Harbor and out of that building. They have already earmarked how they're going to do it. Abaco, watch out. They're here, and they don't care about their integrity.